Hello and welcome to today's tutorial on image processing and manipulation with Python. So we are going to use Pillow library in order to manipulate, edit or process images in, in Python. So the first thing we need to do, we need to pip install pip in our terminal, pip install pillow and I have already installed it, that's why it says requirement already satisfied. Then after we have installed this, we need to import it. So we say from pill, well this is weird, but from pill import image. So we are going to import image and image filter. Image filter. Okay, now uh, I already have an image color. Let me show it to you here. So this is my, this is the image that I have here. So I'm going to turn it into gray and then rotate it, cut it, crop it. Uh, what, else, what else? Make, turn it into a thumbnail and that sort of stuff uh, at Python. So let's do it. So before, uh, getting into that it's interesting to know how you can also make images you know from scratch actually so we can simply go and um, let's just say I am for image and then image capital new and you see the, the things that we can have here mode size and color so mode is uh, RGB that is red green blue so let's start with that RGB and then we need to have size and size should be in a tuple or tuple and let's give it uh, 400 by 400 and the last argument is actually the color so the color in, in tuple again in RGB mode so red green and blue uh, so if we want a totally red image let's say so we should say 255 which is the maximum number for RGB mode and then a green 0 and blue as well as 0 now let's uh, open it and in order to to show it to open it you simply say I am which is the name and then show oops like that and I run my program and here it is so we have a PNG file. Okay, so we have this. Um, and so that was one thing. So let's just uh, comment this out. Let's get to the rest. Now we want to uh, import the image that I have here. We want to use this one. So we need to actually open it. So let's just say image IMG equals and capital open so you can see that we have this and um, then the name of the file which in this case is color.jpg right so color.jpg so we are opening this well we're not showing it we're just opening it so we have access to it now now we can do several stuff uh, some stuff with it so let's print out uh, image dot format let's see what we get in our terminal here so let's run the program and we get jpeg so this is the way we get the format how about uh, the size well size matters huh? so size and let's uh, run and this is the size again in tuple so Wow, 1253 by 1000. That's a huge file. Okay. What else we can do also about the color mode? So we can run the same and say mode. And let's run. And RGB. So this is the mode. Okay. Now, besides these, now let's uh, put some filter on it. That is, let's blur this image out. So in order to do that, let me just make some space. Yeah, so I'm going to make another variable. Let's just call it uh, filter filtered. 
yeah because we're going to filter it and then the image that we have image dot filter so we're going to put a filter on it and then it should be something like this image filter the one that we just actually imported here we're going to use that so image filter dot blur all in uppercase you can see also suggested now it's going to uh, filter and blur put a filter well blur filter on this image and save it into filtered so in order to save this file that is filtered we can say filtered how can we save that so it's filter dot save and we're going to save it as what we have to give it a name as well as a format so i'm going to save it as uh, blurred dot png and also the format should be png oh, oh, filtered yeah okay let's save this one and see what happens and run the program okay cool now we have blurred here so let's open it blurred you see it's a, yeah it's not that much blurred but still is blurred so let's check this is the original image this is the blurred one yeah you can see a difference okay let's get back we have a long way to go so that was for blurring it now okay next one can be uh, convert yeah turning it into gray ish let's say so the same thing that we did so let's just uh, yeah use the same line of code here okay now this time instead of filter we need to use uh, okay let me convert so we need to convert it <clears throat> and then the way we convert this into a grayscale is by using L capital uh, uppercase L so image that we just opened and we are going to convert it to L now let's again save this filtered and let's say gray yeah okay let's run the program and now we have gray so let's see gray see cool isn't it so this is the original one and this is the blurred one so and this is the gray one awesome okay let's go back <clears throat> okay now uh, let's uh, just comment this out now oops now we are going to rotate the image so the same thing again let's just do with the filtered filtered um, now this one we should say image and uh, the method is rotate and then here we should give it some number like by for example if I went upside down I should say 180 degrees and then again the process is the same so let's save it this one let's say rot yeah for rotation and run we have a rot here so let's open it up and you see it's upside down this was the original one the gray one and this one 180 degrees so you can't simply um, you can <clears throat> also put it yeah some other degree 90 degrees and whatever you get the point okay let's come on this out now and now resizing so let's go for resizing okay in order to resize so let's get it again go down image instead of this one we go for resize and uh, for resizing we need to actually give it uh, two parameters but they should be a tuple 
so let's say uh, the image was actually too large so it was 1200 by 1000 something like that so maybe we can go by uh, 400 by 400 yeah and let's save it in a resize um, let's run and yes a res oh okay so let's go resize and see oh cool it is smaller you see the difference so now it has become smaller awesome okay next one now cropping so let's crop the image okay for cropping the documentation says uh, gives this example actually that use variable call it box and then um, give it like four um, numbers for coordinates let's say for the the places in the image that you want to, to cut it from so and this is exactly what the uh, documentation actually says so 400 for and 400 so do we have these four numbers and these are places and pixels actually in that in which we want to say okay cut from this part and that part and then let's have another um, another variable image that we just had opened here so image dot crop and let's uh, and then give it uh, yeah image dot crop and this these are the thing the parameters that should be inside this so we say box and now we can save the region so region region dot save and then give it a name so let's give it crop dot png and format is also png let's save let's run this and we have it crop let's see okay crap <laughs> crop all right that is cool so okay so that was cropping now um let's uh, come on this out okay we have one more to go now thumbnail so when we resized the image there was an issue because the image was uh, not as exactly a square so it was 1200 by 1000 and when we resize it to 400 by 400 it means that it loses the aspect ratio so it would not be exactly the same um, that is why uh, when you're not sure about the 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 dimensions let's say uh, the length and width and you want to keep the aspect ratio it's much better to use thumbnail so to do to use thumbnail we simply go image dot thumbnail thumbnail and then give it again a tuple so inside we have another pair of brackets and the reason that i'm not assigning this to a variable like this one like this one is that it doesn't return a new image uh, it just simply modifies uh, this one and yeah we cannot uh, assign it to a variable so um, now let's say 400 by 400 now pillow tries its best to to resize the image so that it is super close to this these dimensions but it still will keep the aspect ratio so let me show you what I mean so let's uh, now save this image and save so we save the same image not the so we're not putting it into a variable and then uh, just like before we are going to give it a name let's say thumb dot um, PNG and PNG okay now let's just run the program so we have thumb here so let's open it okay now cool so it is 
is try to keep exactly the same image just make it smaller not just resize it now there's a difference between this one and and actually this one this is also 400 by 400 so you can see the difference is 400 by 400 and we also asked pillow to give us 400 by 400 but it is not exactly 400 by 400 because it was calculating the aspect ratio and thought this is the closest it can get to to what we wanted so if we simply uh, now we can actually uh, print the size of this image uh, so the image was 1000 yeah uh, now um, so we have thumb let's just open it and yeah let's open the image now what was the image thumb thumb.png and let's just yeah the size and also let's uh, come this out so I want to say what is the size of this image the new image that we just got so it is 400 by 319 we asked mm -hmm. for 400 by 400 but then it calculated and thought this is the best and closest it can get to what we asked without losing the aspect ratio okay so uh, that that was it so we learned one two three four five six seven almost seven things that we can do with pillow now let's get back again and review the images so um, so we have blurred then we have well that's the original image then we have a cropped version we have gray scale we have resized then rotated um, thumbnail and that was it